I didn't think anybody would out talk George. <laughs> Next, our next award is the Theodore Swift Civility Award. Those of us who knew, and I'm going to call him Ted Swift, the new Ted, Ted was a collegial gentleman, and he was a character with great character. Mike Sanders is a fitting recipient of this award. Mike is well regarded by practitioners and jurors in the workers' compensation field of practice for his civility, good humor, and professionalism. He has shown excellent advocacy on behalf of his clients without sacrificing collegiality among his peers. He, is, he too is a frequent author and lecturer. Mike has served for many years as president of his firm, Foster, Swift, Collins, and Smith. Please join me in congratulating this year's Theodore Swift Civility Award recipient, Mr. Michael Sanders. said my name is Mike Sanders and um, I'm here with my wife Jeannie who's sitting right back there with the camera. Uh, Jeannie who did not believe that I could possibly have won a civility award. Uh, I tried in order to prove it showing her the ICDA uh, email announcement and it was pretty clear to me that Jeannie thought I had photoshopped my picture of my biography into the ad. She that I just got actually has my name engraved into it. Uh, so this is either proof that I actually did win this award or a very cool practical joke. Um, I actually had to be in Chicago for the last few days sort of unexpectedly for work. And I say that in order to lower expectations, especially considering the last two the last two speeches. I really didn't even have time to prepare a formal speech, so I'm just going to have to do this off the cuff. <laughs> Actually, I couldn't do it off the cuff because apparently I'm supposed to fill a 23-minute time slot, uh, according to Manny Lowry, who sent that information over with Chuck Barbieri, and there's no way I could do it off the cuff and fill that much time, although apparently it's two to three minutes instead of 23 minutes. Uh, I want to thank my firm for hiring me <clears throat> when it did 36 years ago. I couldn't possibly get hired by Foster Swift at this point. Uh, the new people in my firm had much better qualifications than anybody in the left-hand uh, column of the letterhead. Uh, I also want to thank the staff and the lawyers at the Foster firm for setting a daily example of really what civility is. It's a privilege to work there. I actually do remember my first job interview uh, with the Foster firm in October of 1981. I came up from the University of Illinois and interviewed with Tony Smith, who's sitting right here, uh, Ted Swift, and John Collins all at one time. And, and I've got to say, uh, those are two of the most civil people you will ever meet. Uh, <laughs> Ted, Ted Swift is a very appropriate namesake for this civility award. Ted was a character, as Judge Clark said. He was fun. He was funny. Uh, he did indeed write a Supreme Court brief in iambic pentameter, and he submitted it to the court and actually won the case. Um, he made very sure that we all knew that a lawyer could zealously represent his or her clients and do that at the same time civilly. He was an example of that every day. And he made sure that even though we're all dealing, that we knew that even though we're all dealing with very serious stuff on a daily basis for our clients, that it's okay to have fun doing it. And we had fun when Theodore was at the office. He was a great guy. Uh, I am a workers' compensation lawyer. There, I said it publicly, and I said it out loud. Um, after all, that's the first of any 12-step program. 
I did not want to be a workers' compensation lawyer at all. Uh, my first and my very best mentor, a guy by the name of David Coey, early on in my career asked me to make workers' compensation my specialty because of a void that existed at the firm. And so I very graciously agreed to do so. And then I kicked and screamed all the way for the first several years about doing it. It turns out, frankly, that that is absolutely the very best career decision that anyone else has ever made for me. <laughs> uh, I found that this small group, this subgroup, about uh, consisting of about 100 lawyers, of plaintiffs and defense lawyers in the Michigan Workers' Compensation Bar, in my opinion, are some of the best, most effective, zealous, think on their feet, humorous, donut eating, self self deprecating bunch of lawyers that you will ever meet. Frankly, you could throw all 100 of their names in a hat and pull one out and have a more deserving recipient of this civility award than me. Uh, lastly, and I know it's two to three minutes, but I, I just want to tell you, I was very lucky at the firm to have absolutely excellent mentors. Coey, David Coey was great. John Collins, Tony Smith, Larry Lindemar, and even Dick Foster was still at the firm when I came. Uh, but I want to real quickly mention one other rather unlikely source of mentorship that I had when I was a new lawyer. And as a new lawyer, I struggled, uh, probably like most new lawyers. Actually, I may have struggled a little bit more than most new lawyers. And during one particularly painful expert witness deposition that David Coey had asked me to take in Washington, D.C., I was having trouble asking the right questions. It was chaotic. Uh, and I couldn't ask the questions in a non-objectionable manner. And after a bit, the opposing attorney, the guy on the other side of the case, politely, politely asked me if we could go off the record for a moment. And he pulled me aside and he took me down the hall and he actually sat there in a conference room and it helped me reformulate some of my questions and he explained to me why those were better questions. That guy was named Jim Timmer. Uh, he was a recipient of the Leo Farhat Award in the year 2000. And early on, Jim regularly helped me. This was not the only occasion on which he did that. And I've since learned that over the years, Jim did this for a lot of young lawyers in the, the bar. Um, and that's why I, I love this bar association, because this room, I look out here at all of you, and this room is full of lawyers who do that every day. You do that every day. Instead of taking advantage of your opposing counsel's youth and, and experience, you actually help these people, and that makes them better lawyers, and that makes for a better bar association. And I guarantee you that 36 years down the road, when they're standing up here getting some sort of an award, they're going to remember it very well, because I do. And to me, that is the true meaning of a civil litigator. Finally, I'd like to thank Tony Smith, who's sitting right over here, and the others who apparently pushed my nomination through to this point that could not have been easy. Uh, and it just goes to show you that at 80 years old, Tony still carries as much sway with the Ingham County Bar Association as he ever did, and rightly so. I'd also like to recognize and thank my secretary, Sherry Garusku, who's sitting by the pole back here. Uh, she put her head down when we said that. <laughs> Two of my paralegals, Carol Schneider and Jillian Maynard, I think they keep me headed in the right direction, and when I get out of line, they make sure I get back in line. Um, I'd also like to say thank you to you, Jeannie, uh, for always believing me. <laughs> and no, I love you, Jeannie, and thank you for keeping me grounded at all times. I really, I really appreciate that. And congratulations to the other recipients of awards. And so I'm just going to conclude this real briefly with a valediction that was really used by Ted Swift by saying peace to all of you. Thank you very much. marks in that email. That was a, that was a period. It was actually 2.3 minutes. 